Okay, to make our um, six sectioned snowflake, uh, we need to start with a square. So I have a piece of regular copier paper. Um, you could use a piece of notebook paper or a piece of, um, if you have copy paper at home, that would work fine, drawing paper or construction paper, but we need to turn it into a square. So I'm going to take this short side and line it up with the long side and make sure that I have a point here. That's how I can tell you know, exactly where I need it to be. That's got to be pointed and this has got to be lined up here. So while I'm holding it in place there, I'm going to fold it down. And then I need to cut this section off. A lot of times people will just cut right here with that line. I feel like that's, um, it's not usually a very good straight line when you do that. So you could take a ruler or you could just use that line that you have from your fold right here and just draw the line. It just turns out a lot straighter if you cut it that way. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna cut that off and I will have a square. Okay, now I start the folding. Okay, I want to fold this in half to make a rectangle. That's the first step. Then I'm going to fold it in half again to make a square. Then open it up. And here you can see halfway on this fold. That's what we want. I've got fold here, open side here. And I need to know what is the halfway point. That's why I made that fold and opened it back up. Now the triangle on your handout, you need to have cut out. That's a 60 degree triangle. If you were not able to print the triangle, then you may just have to sort of eyeball it. Um, so you're gonna put that triangle right here so that one point is pointing to the center fold and the edge of your triangle is sitting right on the fold of your big paper. Then the next step is to take this edge and fold it up so that it lines up here with the edge of that 60 degree triangle. Okay, so my triangle sits in there nice and easy, just fits right in there. Okay, so then I'm going to move that. That was the purpose of the triangle is just for measuring. Okay, sorry guys, we had a fire drill. So, um, as I was saying, this is just for the measuring of that angle. And the next step is to fold this edge to match over here. So you're basically just doing the same thing and making it overlap the paper that you just folded. And you wanna make sure you get a nice point here and that this is pretty much in line with that edge and then fold it down. So this is what you should have at that point. Now, I do wanna show you, if you aren't able to print out those instructions and cut out your triangle, um, then you're really just trying to sort of eyeball it. And I'm thinking your best bet is to sort of fold them together at the same time. So you're kind of overlapping it and see where that will work. Where can you Kind of see how I'm kind of rolling it in. I've got a point here. I'm holding it until I've got it pretty close. And then I'm folding down. And that should be close enough that it should work just fine. Okay, so I did that without the triangle. So you're basically just using that center fold. And you see I folded a triangle in there and I just kind of pull this one over and then try to get this one to go on top and give me a point here and then press it down, okay? Now, the next step on your sheet tells you to fold this whole thing in half. So 
you basically, you don't need a ruler for this, but you basically have a line right here. So if it helps you to draw that line, you could. You could hold that there with your ruler and just draw a line there. But you don't have to because basically you're just folding this half on top of that half. Okay, and which what lines you see here will just depend on which way you're folding it. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, so here's what you have now. And the instructions tell us to cut all of these uneven edges off. So I'm going to take this, cut it straight across. Okay, I'm going, going to just take a good look at it and make sure I got all those edges. Okay, so now if you look at your picture on the handout, you'll see that um, you could cut in here. You could cut these sides off to make a point. Um, you could cut it diagonal. This is going to determine what your points look like. For example, this part. So on this one, I cut, you can see here, I cut in. I did this one pretty much the way the drawing is on your handout. Um, you also could, if you want yours to turn out actually with six points, like this one, then you're going to cut it on the diagonal. So you're gonna cut a slanted or diagonal line here. And then on the sides, you can make little notches and cutouts as long as you leave folded bits to hold it all together. Okay, so I'll show, show you what I mean. I'm going to cut another diagonal, but this time I'm gonna get a little fancy with it and kind of make it a wavy line like that, okay? Now my folds are here and here. So I, ha I can cut into it, but I have to be careful to leave enough of it to hold my um, snowflake together. Okay, so here I just cut that out, but this is folded and that's still folded. And then up here, let's see, I'm gonna make a little diamond shape. Well, it looks like a triangle, but it'll hopefully it'll look like a diamond when I open it up. Just remember that this is kind of an experiment. You know, as you work through it, you're learning what different cuts will create different shapes in your snowflake. All right, so this is what mine looks like compared to others I've made. Quite a bit different. You also can cut the tip if you want to, as long as you leave fold and fold to hold it together. So let's see what that looks like. I'll just cut it straight across. And now, there we go. Okay, so now my points turned out a little bit fancier. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, just like a real snowflake. Okay, so I want you to try those out. You can make um, multiple snowflakes. You could cut them down to be a little bit smaller and just have fun with it. Take your time working through those steps and press pause if you need to. Have fun.